We have, <laughs> we have the iPhone 16 Pro. The iPhone 16 Pro might look similar to the 15 Pro on the outside, but on the inside, we have reports online that we have some of the biggest changes of all time, including some surprises that are exclusive to this 16 Pro model. So in this video, we're gonna do a teardown to see exactly everything that's different. By the way, here's just some of the Apple products we bought today for launch day. Let's dig in. This feels nice. Why did I order a Pro Max? I should've got this one. All right, let's take this bad boy out. All right, I'm starting to see it lift up here. Woo. Woo. Would you look at that? Stainless steel battery pack. All right, and it is true. We have a completely different teardown. You can see right here in this first photo that usually you take off the front, so you see a completely different design. Here, you actually see these massive camera bumps that stick out that go right through the lenses, which is really, really cool. And of course, we have the stainless steel battery pack. Here, everything looks very similar to last year. So now let's take this thing off right here and disconnect the case. All right, we've got access to the little ribbon cable right here. Here we have the back glass. Look at that beautiful piece of glass, all from one etched carved with the camera bumps on top. Now because we had a totally different kind of teardown process, you can see the MagSafe coil right here, and it looks fairly similar. There's no indication that it's different, but it is upgraded to 25 watts compared to 15 watts maximum, which is pretty cool. Let me disconnect some more of these connectors. This is the battery connector right there. Got some other ones that I don't know what they do, but while I'm doing that, I do wanna mention the significance of the stainless steel battery pack. Basically, it means that it uses new technology because if it wasn't stainless steel, it would be the old foil, which is meant to kind of expand and contract when it heats up very hot. So it gives it a little bit of extra space. You can see, especially on like the little corners, a little bit of space just so it doesn't swell up and puncture or anything. The stainless steel means that it's using brand new technology that I guess doesn't react as much to heat and doesn't swell. And we also get a massive improvement in battery life because they're able to fit more juice into basically the same size, which is really cool. We also now have up to 45 watts of wired charging and it's all due to the thermals of this new battery. All right, we're getting some stretch action, guys. Look, we're getting stretch action. And the nice thing with the stainless steel casing for the battery is that there's a less chance of uh, puncturing it. And we almost got it, boys. Woo! We did it. Oh, and it's battery. not smoking. <laughs> we got it out. All right, let's get all this junk off. Wow, this stainless, this is literally stainless steel package. I kind of bent it right there, so hey. It's nice and durable. And we got a nice, brand new, for the first time, stainless steel battery pack. A lot better than what we used to have before. All right, now check this out, guys. Now that I took the battery out, I can see something very, very interesting. Previously, you would take off the display, so this is the back side of the display when you take it off, but now the display has this entire sheet of aluminum that is kind of backing it compared to what we had here before. This means you're getting better heat dissipation, especially with this brand new graphene sheet that comes here more centered and under this entire logic board. And I do think the logic board is actually quite a bit skinnier. Like look at the size difference. This is more kind of bulky, but this is longer and smaller actually, that's really cool. And the cool thing this year with the 16 Pro is that the 5X Tetra Prism finally came to this model. You can see it right here. Huge. Yeah, it's massive. So because of that, look at all the space the Tetra Prism takes, because you know it bends light towards the sensor this way. So they had to make the logic board smaller. Here is a little, uh, I think it's a LiDAR module. Whoa, look at that. I'm pretty sure this is LiDAR. I mean, you have the little LiDAR camera and the little, uh... and there you go. We have our triple rear camera module. This thing is fat. I mean, look at, look how thick. Those cameras stick out, man. No wonder Dude, that's a Apple has some good cameras. Right yeah. No wonder you have a camera bump that wobbles and shakes the phone, you know? Here we have this massive module. That's for the new Tetra Prism. That's pretty cool. This is the main sensor right here, which has IBIS or the uh, stabilization. And we have the ultra wide right here. 
This is the new 48 megapixel, surprisingly still pretty small. All right, we're taking off the Tetra Prism. But first, I wanna show you these Carbon Mag wireless battery banks from our sponsor, Charge. This is their new Forge Carbon Fiber series that is made from recycled carbon fiber, which is super light and durable. The 5,000 milliamp hour pack is Qi certified and ultra slim at only 8.8 .8 millimeters and has really strong magnets so it doesn't shift in your pocket. Their 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack has Qi 2 with 15 watt charging so you get super fast wireless charging and with both of these you get 20 watt fast charging with a cable and you can charge two devices at once. So go ahead and check these carbon mags out and I'll have the links in the description and pinned comment below. Okay, I think I got it. And whoop, there you go. Tetra Prism right here. Is that a sensor right there? That is the sensor. I wonder what these three little holes are. Okay guys, check this out. I don't know if you can see this, but here is the stabilization. Look at that. Wow. It's moving this way and it has these little ribbon cables that I think just kind of like shock it and move it. You can see just, just how much it moves with the stabilization there. You know what guys, let's take a closer, closer look. Okay, whoa. <laughs> oh, look at that. You see the little magnet, see that? That's the magnet that kind of, oh, bam, we just, Took it apart. That's the inside of the sensor. Wow, surprisingly small for, uh, I mean, it is 12 megapixels, but look at that. You can see how it kind of goes through here. Oh, I can see, I can see the glass going through it. Yeah, I think I this, see your This barely, <laughs> it's so hard, yeah. Oh, and you're upside down. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's how yeah, lenses work. <laughs> this is so cool. So it just goes straight through there. I can literally see how the glass is angled this way, like a mirror going into it. Max, can you see that? Oh, the magnets are <laughs> magnetizing to this. Yeah, look, there's magnets on every side for stabilization. That is pretty, pretty dang cool. That's glass. <laughs> Why are you just doing oh, oh no. I'm trying to take this apart. Punctured myself a little bit, but uh, hey, we got this open. That's cool. What's next? <laughs> there you go. Guys, I'm getting pretty good at this. Pretty efficient. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, uh, well, there goes that. I mean, we have like, we have half of the 48 megapixel ultra wide right there. Is sensor. that sensor smaller? Yeah, the sensor is smaller. What? 48 megapixels is that small? I didn't, didn't expect that. Um, yeah, this thing does not... Wait a second. Magnets. Does this thing also have stabilization? Yeah. Well, there's the sensor right there. For the 48. Oh, I could probably push it through the back. Okay. Oh, there you go. Nice. Whoops. <laughs> oh. All right, so we have our little camera, 48 megapixel lens right there. Dude, my vision is too bad to look through this. But... That's a tiny one. You're upside down. Main sensor is going. <sighs> Holy crap, that's a big old yeah, sensor, yeah. man. That's for low light. And look at that. That lens, man. I could see through this one the best. I mean, because that that's a fat lens. Yeah, it is. Nice. And that's a brand new sensor this year. Oh yeah. See, you got the uh, magnets for stabilization. Of course I ripped it open, so it's not gonna work. Okay, well that's done. Let me just put all the uh, camera parts in this pile right here. Let's take apart the uh, true depth sensor. Make sure to put the screws in the right spot. Oh, that came out easy. Look at that. Yeah, this is still like good, you know? I might even, you know, do a giveaway. This one didn't rip or anything. Take a look at that selfie camera and tell me that can't fit in a MacBook lid. All right, and here we have the uh, Taptic engine and what, whatever else we have. Up here, you can see this tiny little port and that actually goes up to the, uh, the speaker that's located in the speaker grill right here, which just keeps getting thinner and thinner. And if you look inside here, you can see where that port kind of connects into. And now of course, we have the new camera control button, which actually does click. And we can see it on the inside here. Let me see if I can kind of take it apart here. Well, this thing is sapphire crystal, so you shouldn't be able to scratch it. Let me try. 
Nothing. Sapphire crystal, like the old uh, Touch ID button. Last thing we have is the logic board. And this thing almost has like these standoffs that hold it in place. So this might be hard to, oh shoot, to take apart. Oh shoot. Oh, it's coming apart, boys. One, two. Oh, what do we have here? Hey, Team Pro, is that it? Is that it? Wait a second, no. Whoa, look at all this dead space apple. <laughs> what is this? There's some dead space here. Wait, that's the SIM card slot. That's, so they could have gave us the SIM card? They could have, they just don't. Look at all that dead space. Dude, the motherboard even has a little- You can see like little connectors, yeah. yeah. So I guess the SIM card goes on this side now and we kind of took it apart, okay? What's next? Holy mo- Oh no, my thing is bending. <laughs> okay, I think I found a little bit of a better way to do this with this little tool that can remove these little standoffs. There you go. That wasn't so hard. All right, so if we flip it over, we can see not much. But we see some new uh, chips, dual-sided. Now I know this right here is the A18 Pro chip for sure because I took it out like this and you have all this graphite or graphene sheet right here that I'm scratching off and that's connected. Oh, look at that. It's connected directly to the aluminum and it spreads out. That's why we get such good heat dissipation this year. That's why gaming has seen such good improvements like Genshin Impact like running at almost perfect 60 FPS at max out settings, which is nuts. So good job Apple with your graphene sheeting and everything. But I do want to take this apart to try to get a look at that A18 chip. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Wait a minute. Where is the A18? Where is it? Ah! I see it's just a ton of flipping tiny chips. Holy smokes, I cannot believe. Dude, this is the logic board. It's tiny. Yeah. They keep making it smaller and smaller and fitting all these little chips in it. Sorry, Apple, for all your uh, hard work. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, that was easy. Oh, look at that. 18 Pro? Guess what this is? What is that? Thermal paste right here. Oh. And on this side, we have even more chips. Jeez. Dual stacked. Both sides have insane amounts of chips. And this right here, is the A18 Pro. Ooh, I see the little Apple logo hidden underneath. Look at all this uh, thermal paste that I just took off. Okay, let me try to clean this up a little bit. Maybe I can see the actual uh, chip name and stuff on there. I'm gonna use some uh, rubbing alcohol to kind of, you know, clean it up. Oh. <laughs> all right. I probably should have used uh, Ultra Wide before I destroyed it. All right, I got the official code APL1V07. That's the code for the A18 Pro chip, at least the one that's in here. And I'll put that picture up for you guys. And the last thing I'm really curious to see now that we've basically destroyed this iPhone is the MagSafe coil. I wanna see if it's new. Oh, look at that, it's actually magnetic. You got the MagSafe in there. This right here, that's actually the uh, microphone. And this comes off and, ooh. Max, does that look new to you? It looks super finely woven. <laughs> yeah, it does. Very, very dense. Honestly, I remember looking at the photos and it did not look this, yeah, dense. So that is pretty cool. 25 watts instead of 15. Yeah, there's your new uh, 25 watt MagSafe. Uh, good luck competition, I'm <laughs> just kidding. So thin, and plus we get a look at these uh, magnets and I don't know, does that seem like they're like thinner, skinnier magnets to you, Max? I don't know. That is cool. That is a really thin, really thin little magnet. And the cool thing is, I don't know, I feel like it didn't have this little gap here. I mean, maybe it did for the connector, but yeah. There you go. Well, guys, we, <laughs> we have the iPhone 16 Pro. <laughs> That was our fun little uh, destruction teardown. Um, we got to see that stainless steel battery pack. We got the 48 megapixel ultra wide, the camera changes, got a close look at the A18 Pro chip and its uh, little code name. 
everything else. We looked at the camera control button, how it works. We weren't able to take it out. Uh, pretty tough, but I mean, I'd say a pretty successful teardown. Uh, now let's see if uh, Apple Care Plus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe because I don't think we can get our money back for this. Uh, please subscribe uh, because we are actually going to be doing some other videos. 16 Pro Max Ultimate Comparison versus the 15 Pro Max is coming right up tomorrow morning. Uh, so definitely subscribe. We're also doing the AirPods. We're doing the Apple Watch Series 10 comparison. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.